Since March, loads of things have changed for us in the way we work. We're not currently viewed as an essential service by the powers that be, so that means we're not allowed in the office and we're not able to do what we love. However, we're still making a difference. Young people are still getting jobs and going to college and some are even reaching out for help. This is Grace's story. When Grace was referred to us, it was fairly clear that she was really unhappy at school and some of this was starting to spill over into life at home. After half an hour on a Zoom call, we were able to come up with a plan. For Grace, going back to school wasn't an option, but that didn't mean to say her education had to come to an end. So thank you both of you for um, agreeing to kind of sit in and have a wee chat with me today. I want to talk a wee bit um, about school to start with, Grace. Tell me a bit about school. I hated school. <laughs> I couldn't stand school. I was never concentrating in class. Didn't have many friends, which didn't really help because then at like lunch and break, it was kind of eh. Uh, so the plan before I got in touch with you is that I'd wait till I was 16 barely go to any lessons and just like be at school kind of every day but I wouldn't attend lessons and then leave when I was 16 so in December or something it put me in a very kind of angry and annoyed state because I didn't want to be at school um on my parents I think it kind of put a strain because they wanted me to stay in school yeah and um I didn't and I made that very clear <laughs> <laughs> And then I think instead of giving them a time to just, I kind of just told them, right, that's it, I'm leaving. <laughs> How was that as a family to sort of to walk your way all the way through that kind of stuff? Um, it was tough. It, it was hard to watch her struggle. Um, it was hard to try and reason with her because she just wasn't prepared to give an inch, basically. And she just was so unhappy that uh, we just weren't getting anywhere. And it, it's been a tough year. And how, how do you think that sort of impacted you and your mental health and general sort of well-being? Um, well, my mental health wasn't great during lockdown. And to be fair, actually, not doing lessons, it wasn't good, but it took away a lot of the stress. So, um, things moved quite quickly once you sort of got involved with Wax Plus. Um, so I got in touch with you. Um, and at the start, I didn't plan on going to college. I just planned on like finishing my CV. <laughs> um, and then you had mentioned about a college course. And um, since it was close to something that I'd kind of looked at before, I was like, that's the plan. So then you helped me with that. We got the personal statement done and the application. And then the same day after I'd applied for it, yeah, they called me and said I got a space on the course. The very, very last space on the course as well, which was amazing. <laughs> Lena, from, from a mum's point of view, how was that? Uh, yes, it was very, very quick. But that finding her somewhere to go in, instead of just falling out of school and not having anything because the job market is what it is, especially now. Yeah. In a it eased off pressure definitely and you could see how happy Grace became when she uh, what they say the, the positive destination with it and it has made life at home much easier too I, I think we still yeah. have our challenges but um, there, there's been a lot of positive that has come out of this. Ah that's brilliant that's really good to hear. So Grace you've started college? Yeah. Yeah what course are you doing? Land-based service engineering. All right, okay. And talk me through that sort of first couple of days at college then. How was it? So I remember Monday night, I was really, really anxious about Tuesday because I didn't know anyone on my course and I worried that um, it wouldn't go well, but I kind of just went with it on Tuesday morning. I woke up, I got the bus. It was very fun. So straight away, we waited a while for everyone to get there. And um, then we started working on the, the quads did pre-ride checks. We took off the tires last time, but then um, we had a break and after that, everyone kind of came friends and that's made it a lot more fun. So compared to school, totally, totally different, upside down and a complete contrast. 
Yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Okay. And what's your plan for the future then? What's what sort of happens once you finish this course? My idea at the moment is to try and get onto the car vehicle maintenance level two course. Okay. Hopefully next year when this course finishes. That's the plan. Fantastic. Um that's brilliant. I am so, so pleased for you. Um as I say, it did happen very quickly and it was just as much of a shock for us as I think it was for you <laughs> to sort of get an interview and blah, 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 and oh, sort of, Scott, you've got to start, right? Is, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I'm sure this is as efficient as you are always, that it just, okay, <laughs> things moving. So thank you. It's an absolute pleasure. It really, really is. Um, good luck with college, Grace. Thank you. <laughs> Keep in touch. We're here as ever if you need anything, if there's a part-time job or anything that you want to apply for to kind of give you a bit extra cash for while you're at college, just get in touch and we'll keep an eye open for what's sort of available local to you and we can help you apply for that as well. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Bye-bye. Nice to see you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.